So today, I got off work early because of rain, and I got a few new things. This is not one of them. I'm just starting here, just so I have something to shoot at. My grandpa gave me this 3.5 kilowatt generator. No idea if it works. I'm gonna try to get it going, and this is what it says. We'll see if that works. Apparently, it's a really good old name brand. We got this water pump. I don't know where he gets the stuff, but yeah, water pump. And then I went back to my battery experts and got two more of these batteries because they are awesome and extremely good deal. They're in Pickering, Ontario, uh, just east of uh, Toronto. <coughs> and now I have 12 of these. 135 amp hours each. You can do the math. I got a crap ton of power. Got them there, 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 and down here. Now these two. So that's quite a few of these batteries. What else did I get? Never mind my oily mess. I just uh, did an oil change. Oh, this is upside down, but uh, it is a Go Power 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. And what's crazy is how heavy this is. You know it's a good inverter just because it's so freaking heavy. This is like 20 pounds. It's not light. It's got a massive transformer in it. It is only 300 watts. So it's got a GFCI outlet on it. And my lithium polymer pack is really low. It's only 11.5 volts with no load. I used it all day today running... Uh, a uh, DeWalt radio and charging a DeWalt battery all day. Oh, uh, batteries. I went through quite a few batteries today. So this is a 45 amp hour pack. I obviously used up at probably about 35 amp hours, so maybe 10 amp hours left, something like that. But uh, we're gonna test this Go Power inverter out on the system with a 300 watt halogen bulb. Flip it on, runs it no problem. Fans do not kick in until this thing gets warm. And then it kicks in, which is nice. We are pulling around 30 amps. And we're down to 10.6 volts. Inverter is not complaining. Oh yeah, right there, you see that? It says 41 amp hours we've used. So actually this thing, I say it's a 45 amp hour back, but it's actually more. It might be 50 amp hours. I've never really cycled it till it's dead. Uh, so I've used 41 amp hours total. It's still running a 30 amp load at 10.6 volts approximately. So loving this thing right now. Anderson plugs on the inside. And yeah, it's a great, uh, this is an awesome setup for pure sine wave. And this I got off Kijiji in Canada here for $45 brand new in the packaging. The guy had multiples of it. I don't know why he was selling it for so cheap. Maybe he didn't know exactly how much it was worth. Um, but before that, I was looking for a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. So I went online and I got this. This was about $80 uh, US plus shipping. Uh, no, not plus ship shipping, plus tax. It was like a, a little over $100 to my house. This is also a 300 watt inverter. This weighs about four or five pounds. This is a, a high frequency inverter. This is a low frequency inverter. This is really good. This is okay. This does do 300 watts. Seems to be pure sine wave. I haven't checked it on my oscilloscope yet, which I will do. Um, I can, no complaints about it really actually for the price for brand new. It's, it's not bad, but it's nothing in comparison to this one. This was a steal of a deal. Very happy I got it. It's still running the light. I'm gonna shut it off just because there's no use in running it. I don't have to. Uh, I already tested that light on that inverter and it does work. So it can do 300 watts. And here's the real, the real part of this video that I want you guys to see. I can't show you too close, but I can show you these. These are electric car battery modules that I got. But these aren't like any car battery mo module. These are special. And let's see if I can show you these without giving away too much information. There we go. 
I'll just show you this right there. Module rating 40 volts, 2550 amps out of one of these little packs. That's impressive to me. Like, apparently, this whole pack is approximately 16 amp hours at 40 volts. I'm going to be transferring it into uh, three 12 volt packs. So I'll have six total. Uh, so I should have approximately 100 plus amp hours. But imagine the current that that's going to be able to push because that can push 2,250 amps at 40 volts at 16 amp hours approximately. Uh, I have a source where I can buy these fairly cheap. Uh, if anybody lives in the recent area, these are not brand new, these are used. Um, they're tested, sometimes what happens is uh, one bank of cells die, but the rest of them are still good. So uh, yeah, that's how I got these. These, all the, all the ones I've tested so far seem to be okay, so score. Um, yeah, they're 200 bucks each. These retail for about 2,000 each, just because of such a high amp draw. I'll be testing these more. Uh, I'm just going off of mostly what they've told me so far. But uh, this was another stop I made after I bought those guys. And yeah, so if anybody lives real close by and is interested in something like this, close to, uh, to Toronto, let me know. Maybe we can work out uh, something, but uh, yeah, these are the modules. I'll be uh, possibly taking them apart. I think I want to leave them in the, that nice casing for the most part. Yeah, I'm going to have a sweet lithium ion uh, battery out of those. And yeah, just uh, an update of what I've been doing. The, everything over here is mostly the same. Just going to be adding those two batteries. And uh, yeah, that's it for the home solar system. I just ha I'm uh, building little projects here and there. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. So what I've done so far is I got my universal power supply set it to 3.6 volts, 5 amps. I found the dead cell in this pack, the dead cells. Uh, it's here. It was sitting at half a volt. This pack was totally fine. There was nothing wrong with this pack that I found so far. Every, all the other cells in this pack were good. So I'm charging this bank of cells. Try and get them up. They, there's no heat or anything, so I'm wondering if they'll come back. Um, not 100%, but anyways. And then I got on this pack, I have one, two, three, four uh, these cells in uh, series to make 13.17 uh, volts and uh, we're going to see how well it takes a 300 watt load which is 30 amps through this 12 volt inverter and see how well it uh, takes the voltage or the, the current and how much voltage drop we get I'm sure it'll pick up voltage and kind of stabilize at it. I haven't charged these yet. These are just uh, the way I got them. They, they go all the way up to, uh, well, a bank of uh, four series like this would go 14.4 volts. So uh, obviously these weren't fully charged. And I'm just running this off the, these are the balance connectors, the real uh, power comes out of the ends here uh, at 40 volts per battery. <sighs> this inverter I got off eBay, just got it actually, and uh, I like it very much, works pretty good, and everything seems to be working nicely. I seem to have found the voltage these batteries like to stay at. They're about 3 volts per cell. And I have to stop this test because these stupid cables are not adequate. 
for uh, this test. Like, they're burning up. I can barely touch them. So, I'm gonna stop the test, let it cool down, and test the next uh, four cells. Now I'm on to the second bank of uh, four cells. So, one, or one, two, three, four. The inverter's hooked up. The inverter is running. This light, as you can see, it runs in there into the inverter, and the inverter leads right into the battery. Stir this a little bit ago, slowly drops. And this is running through the balance leads, so the balance leads can't carry that much current. And then it looks like I have another one, two, three, four. So as long as all the cells work like this entire pack will get three banks of 12 volt batteries if this pack this bank of cells uh revive i'll have another three banks of 12 volt batteries if it doesn't i'm gonna have a bunch of wasted cells which i can i guess take out and use for something else so i thought well i'm doing this discharge test on this bank which uh the clamps are warm um sitting at 12.26 volts. I'm running max load on this inverter. It's not getting warm. It's not getting warm at the back. The bottom, there's a, some MOSFETs and stuff mounted. And even there, here is not really getting warm. I'm actually very impressed with this inverter. They ship from the States. Um, I opened it up. It already has a little bit of corrosion and stuff on the board because it's not a coated board that I can see anyways. Maybe I'll have a teardown video of this thing later. Um, but I like it. This is the sine wave coming out of it under max load. With no load, you don't get this little distorted part right here at around the zero volt line. But I mean, that that is a very nice clean sine wave for a cheap pure sine wave inverter. I'm very happy with this product. Um, I haven't had it long to see how long it lasts, but this is running 300 watt light there's no chopping off at the top or bottom or anything like that it seems to be uh, fairly nice very happy with it this actually has almost as clean or about as clean of a sine wave as my go power 300 pure sine wave inverter which I'll be doing a, a little uh, performance test on that as well uh, but yes I am very very impressed with this little inverter so far. And I just started uh, the discharge of my third bank, so that's one, two, three, four groups of cells. And I brought my IMAX B6 to help charge this dead bank, because it's taking forever. It's getting up to 3.6 volts, but it's still put, that's still pushing its full five amps, and this is still pushing almost it's full. It's actually starting to drop just because of the losses in these thin lines with the cheap IMAX B6 ripoff. Um, but yeah, getting her up there. See how th this uh, dead cell uh, pack does. Hopefully, it uh, will, can be revived. Uh, still, great sign we've out of this thing. This is a uh, fantastic in inverter for the price I'm very happy with it it doesn't get warm running its full 300 watts they claim to be um, they claim to be uh, very very uh, well set up for making these things I even think they said they make them in the States but I'm not sure um, but I do like them I, rec I highly recommend them uh, so far I don't know about longevity, but uh, function of use, they work really well. And I might even put a link to uh, where I bought this one from. It was, uh, I believe it was like $89 uh, US, something like that. So now, got to somewhat balance these. Time to take them all apart. Make 12 foot cells out of them. Just got to take these screws out. all along here as I go and this should just lift off and then I should have access to all these cells. So I started cutting them into 12 volt sections. There's a 12 volt section. There's a 12 volt section. 
There's another 12 volt section. And I have a whole nother battery to get into. This one had no dead cells. Uh, this end cell here seems to be bad. We'll see how much uh, capacity I can get back out of that, but it doesn't seem like a whole lot. And yeah, got my pure side inver inverter running my uh, soldering iron because I'm using that. That's how I'm cutting the packs apart and being very careful with it. And yeah, I think these packs would be perfect for uh, electric bicycles. Uh, they're 40 volts fully charged. Uh, approximately 16 amp hours and uh, I get them for 200 bucks it's not bad that's what I'm gonna use it for when I get a bike now I got the batteries back into the case the original case so this is one battery right here you can see how it separates that's a 12 volt battery then this is a 12 volt battery and this is a 12 volt battery I'm going to put them on the case and then I'm going to run wires and parallel them after so it's one big 12 volt battery. And this is as far as I'm going to get today. I got a set of 4 gauge booster cables coming off of it. Not quite adequate for this much power but I have all the individual cells uh, wired in parallel with each other. So like uh, this 12 volt pack all of its three or all its four cells are in parallel with this 12 volt pack with all of its cells in parallel with this 12 volt uh, pack and then all these 12 volt packs individually are also in parallel I just need to run uh, balance leads off of it it has uh, a lot of power 